Well, I thought it would be good to say something about how the song Don't Keep Me Wasted came about because it's an interesting probe into the process I'm working on and which will eventually be a full-fledged album. So this is a behind-the-scenes look and also a little look into history. After the both of us, I worked on many songs, songs that at the time were supposed to see the light of day. I think I wanted to make a change from what I did before. I think Don't Keep Me Wasted was probably the 20th song I wrote from the both of us. I don't know. Say it say it was released in December 2020 and I just composed Don't Keep Me Wasted sometime in the summer of 2019. So it's clear that nothing came out in the meantime. I was moved away from my family at the time of about two or three years. I played a private show at my brother's wedding and then I got to be an illness. It was I never explained what it was. Interestingly, my then future mother-in-law had something similar or the same. It was something with joints and it also inflicted a huge exhaustion. It was really painful everywhere and still no one knows what it was. I know it affected more people I knew about at the time and it, it was sometime in the middle of summer. So I was sick at home and I wrote this song Don't Keep Me Wasted. It was in the middle of the night when I couldn't sleep and a certain thought still came to my mind. As for the music, at the time I started composing music for this music album which is still about to come out because I write almost all the time and I compose also in the meantime. Opinions on music in society in and around my city were mixed, for example for house or tropical house and some small town gigs such as jazz and many other types of music, especially alternative, indie and many more. But I thought that I would like to follow up on something that I played, for example, around 2016 or 17, and which I was based on sometime in 2012 when I started as a boy. I came up with the rock or punk for some songs, just a little touch, and I was inspired by various songs and bands. I thought I had to make a change here. I've always liked something like folk and stuff like this, and although it's not exactly the main genre that I would play in the Johnny's Island project, I have to say that I partly came out of it, I like it and I still play it sometimes. My parents had a vacation planned, I think somewhere in Greece and some island, and they said, we need you to look after our plants and flowers. And I said, why not? But I'm sick, so I'll probably have to move into an apartment. So I moved in. The first thing I had to see was the doctor to find out what my illness was. But after more examinations, there was still nothing to find out. So I was trying to start living normal again, as I was used to before. And I started thinking about recording demos 
for my album. The pain didn't stop, but I told myself I had to keep going. I gave myself plenty of time to rest, recording every afternoon, and almost every night after going to feel strong, I went to town. At the time, in just a few days, I recorded demos for 8 or 9 songs out of the final 15. Don't Keep Me Wasted was the first song I processed from these selected songs. Originally, the song should have sounded a little slower. But I thought it should sound the way I feel when recording the overall rhythm with the fact that I also recorded the rhythm guitar for the rhythm track for clarification. Then I had to rehearse and try at all how the voice with the overall rhythm and song would sound roughly as a result. With that I tried to record two acoustic guitars from the resulting four and other instruments and removed the take of the auxiliary rhythm guitar and I also added something. I wondered if it worked or not, but in the end I agreed that this style just suited me. I added a little electric guitar to the song. <laughs> it was really fun at the same time because I was in my former room which I had shared with my brother years ago and which had already been moved a short distance from there because he had recently married. <laughs> I had moved out long before that but I still had a few of my things left in my room in my parents' apartment. <laughs> But my brother, I had a feeling that he didn't move anything at that time. <laughs> so I actually seemed to be recording in our old boys' room. To all this, I added the lead vocals and thought about what a second voice, for example, could be like. I think some parts were originally supposed to be a bit slower and even softer in the recording. But there's nothing I can do about it. It's the way it is. The lyrics of the song show that a mistake in a relationship is not just the fall of one, but the lyrics look at it from both sides. And in the end, the whole rather sad song ends with one positive verse which turns the whole song into a completely different meaning, positive. So suddenly the listener doesn't know if what is being sung there really is or if theoretically only questions are asked whether this is the case or not. Despite all the health issues, the process of recording trial versions of the bass versions for my album was I would say happy. I had a lot of fun in the meantime, in that little free time, but it was fun. <laughs> then all the health problems began to be solved by themselves. As summer slowly drew to close, they simply began to disappear. Some time has passed, I thought it was quite a long time. I had quite a few things in the meantime that needed to be resolved. Then I finally started the final recording in my new home studio, where I moved New Heaven Studios. To this day, I wonder if I should have included the xylophone in the song. It was supposed to be like this. Dum 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 Darling, mm -hmm, and my hurt you uh. But sometimes I, sometimes I say to myself, it's a good idea, other times it's useless. 
as part of the final recording I also did a version that is alternative and you can also hear the harmonica on it. It really sounds more like folk. I would like to release this version on another single. After a while I also finished the cover for the single. I was photographed on it about two months before the song Don't Keep Me Wasted was written at all and I thought it was the right photo because it captures the whole demanding period the best. The photo was taken by my relative and I'm very grateful to her for that. Sometime around February March 2021 after two months when Say Say was released was the right time to expose a single by process through a distributor to release. At the same time, it was time to make a music video. My dear, you sometimes trying to help me? I wanted it to look really simple. I also wanted to capture a nice mountain or natural atmosphere. Due to the pandemic, however, it was impossible to travel to the originally chosen place. So we choose one protected landscape area in our region right near the city. For simplicity we traveled to the place on bikes and I had everything I needed packed in a huge tourist backpack. <laughs> the funny thing about it all is that it looks like I'm walking comfortably in a meadow but in fact at that time after the winter the soil and grass were so soaked with water that after a while we had water in our shoes and it colded us until the end of the day. <laughs> so don't keep me wasted. So where did you stay? It was almost dark when we finished, but it was beautiful. Nature will never disappoint us. I was also very happy that we managed to release the single Don't Keep Me Wasted on vinyl. It's always nice to enjoy something with the best quality. And above all, I'm glad that the song makes you happy. You who like it and who like its melody and who understand its meaning. You don't keep me wasted. <laughs> Stop!